Hello and welcome by a video tutorial of Magento Enterprise. My name is Ray Bachman from Yerio and with this tutorial I will show you how to upgrade a Magento Enterprise Edition. Well as you can see over here I'm using a Magento uh, Enterprise environment with the sample data. What we have to do is uh, first of all uh, get our new um, uh, upgrade from the Magento Enterprise software. What I'm using right here is uh, the 1.6 version and I'm gonna upgrade it to the 1.7 version, the new version. And first of all it's uh, possible to check the latest version so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you which versions I'm on. So I'm gonna log in in the back end of the control panel and what we can see over here is that we are using the 1.6 version. So um, before we start upgrading it's really important to make a backup. The easiest way to create a backup is going to system and then tools, backups and over here we got the create backup button so hit it and then the total backup SQL file is created from the database. Uh, the backup is not uh, the files only the database. Another way to um, created data uh, backup is by using PHP my admin but uh, what is really important is uh, go ahead and figure out which uh, database it is click on uh, export and then what really is important that you uh, mark this disable foreign keys check otherwise you get problems with your database once you import it again and then you can hit the save file button and save it somewhere else in your computer save. So then you got a whole SQL file of the database of the backend of the enterprise environment. So once we have this backup, um, it's really important that we um, use a, a program like a shell for um, merging the files together. So what I've done over here, I made a file folder of the 1.7 um, we can see over here and what I have over here is the 1.6 version and what I've done in this 1.6 version is that I'm using um, a multi store environment as you can see over here I got more uh, URLs pointing to this website later on we have to merge this or uh, use the new uh, feature which is in uh, Magento 1.7 also uh, but uh, within this tutorial we're not uh, going into this down so what we have to do is close this file well go back ahead and see over here let's create a copy um, and once this is done we uh, will be going ahead well once we're done with copying those files we can go back and we can see over here that all the new uh, files are uh, situated in this and once we open the index.php we will see that this file is different because we uh, overwrote it and the, the copying will take some time and I will advise you to uh, use uh, shell uh, for instance it's going much faster than for instance uh, FTP it takes a lot of time and um, let us go back to the front end uh, hit the refresh button and let's see what happens well this is looking okay let's log into the back end refresh it Okay, let's log out and log in again. Okay, now we're getting an error. And this error is uh, only when we upgrade something from the old 1.6 version to the 1.7 version. And which is uh, situated in here that we have to uh, have some problems with the Zen Cache core. Um, and uh, how do we clean this? Well, very easy and uh, we go over to the application the core uh, file and then for instance the Zend and then we're gonna remove the cache folder 
and let's go back and refresh this and now everything is in place so by doing that uh, we've upgraded to a new point uh, 1.7 version and everything running in order the only thing that i have to do right now is only uh, configuring uh, the, the index php file for also the uh, uh, the multi-store environment so uh, i hope you like this there was a video tutorial from jirio visit our website at jirio.com for more tutorials and have uh, fun creating more magento websites until next time